for us, the most interesting part about it is how one color interacts with another one. So I don't think that color on its own is what we should be talking about. It's when two colors interact. And light is the vehicle for that interaction. So here what we did is try to suppress the height of the spaces almost everywhere and then explode the height wherever we have uh, a chandelier or wherever we're showing one of our lights. And so it was kind of a thing where um, the more crushed the visitor is in the beginning, almost to the point of feeling claustrophobia, the more powerful uh, the sensation is of entering into one of the very tall rooms. So the ceiling in most of the stand is less than two meters, but wherever we have a, a piece, wherever we show a piece, it goes up to five meters, five and a half meters. The main approach that we have that's a little bit different maybe than most is that we look for form in the way a material behaves or in the way that a process occurs. So we never consider form abstractly in our imagination and then apply the resources around us to achieve that form. Instead we experiment with materials, experiment with process and we learn what the form wants to be from the material. And then we just play with little games. Like for this piece, we just ask them to reverse the direction of airflow. So air usually goes into glass, and we just ask them, like, what happens if you take air out? It's so this kind of game. And then you slowly start to learn about glass. Like the other piece in the other room is based on the idea that different amounts of glass have different temperatures. Um, and then the whole thing is dipped in one layer of very, very hot glass. So imagine like a cloud of hot heat and inside are pockets of cold, right? And then you push air into it and the air finds its way through the path of least resistance, which is the hottest path. dealing with light, I think the most important thing to do is to start considering um, light as a volume. Almost as if you were making containers, bottles, and filling them with light. Almost as if light was a liquid. And if you think of light that way, then it means you have to start building in ambient filters into your work. Uh, and, and make sure that those ambient filters interact in some sort of way to elicit a phenomenological moment. Uh, how it's done or why is very difficult to say because it's, a, it's kind of a mystery. Why does it make you feel the way it does? It's difficult to say, but you know it when you feel it. Uh, beauty is an elusive concept. We don't really know why something is beautiful, but we recognize that beauty is a force behind the scenes, almost at every level of human interaction. <laughs>